Hey guys, welcome back to BTNHD, and uh, yeah, Windows 8.1, believe it or not, I found out that you are able to use the Chrome OS desktop mode within this operating system, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the first thing that you guys need to do is install Google Chrome, and uh, you need to make Google Chrome your default browser, uh, and then it's going to basically say uh, you need to associate uh, your HTTP files to which particular browser I'm gonna say Google Chrome now if you don't get that nice little dialogue taskbar that you got I got in the top you can always go to uh, your settings and within there within the bottom right here your default browser if you, you know, make Chrome your browser your default one so so how to launch it real simple uh, it's one of those things that you don't pay too much attention so you're gonna go to the customize and control panel and then relaunch Chrome in Windows mode now the Chrome desktop will now appear taking up the entire screen like any other Windows 8 app which is pretty cool to launch apps or open new Chrome browser windows all you have to do is use the app launcher now if those have that have used a Chromebook in the past this is how the operating system looks within a Chromebook. Now I'm not signed into Google, so for this to work the way it's supposed to work, you have to have a Gmail account. So I'm actually going to sign in. Let's sign into one of my accounts, and I am logged in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now if I click on my app launcher, I have full access to my Google Docs, my Google Drive, my YouTube account, and so on. Now. One of the advantages of the new interface is that it lets you have multiple Chrome browser windows on the screen at the same time and you're able to manage them in different environments. Uh, you can use both standard Chrome browser windows and Chrome apps here. Each window will appear on its own Chrome taskbar which is awesome. Now there's a downside of this and that the Windows 8 version of Chrome has limited plugin support. Uh, you're only able to use Pepper API plugins such as Adobe Flash, Chrome's PDF Viewer, and Chrome's native client. But for some reason, you can't use Java and you can't use Microsoft Silverlight. So, if you guys are going to be uh, surfing Netflix, you're not going to be able to use Netflix inside this environment, which pretty it kind of sucks. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they have this mode in here. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, again, I just I just started playing around. So right here, I want to put this on the left. I want to put this to the right. And let's say if I want to create uh, another one, uh, let's create another Chrome or another thing right here, and uh, take this over here, and we're gonna put uh, minimize it. So that's pretty cool. Um, the only thing that I see that is a little problem, you got to be careful with the mouse. If you put your mouse too far to the lower right hand, uh, left hand side, you're going to get the, the start button. So if you try to click the launcher, you're going to get back into your start menu. Uh, but that's about it, guys. That is how you enable the Chrome OS and some of the reasons why you should use it. Uh, again, if you don't want to use the Windows 8 environment, if you're a Google user that constantly uses Google Docs, and you want that Chromebook feel, hey, use this trick. This is pretty awesome. Again, there's some drawbacks. You're not going to be able to use Netflix because Silverlight and uh, I believe Java is not supported. Uh, but Adobe Flash and the PDF Viewer within Chrome is supported, so that's a plus. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy and leave comments right below, and i catch you guys later. Peace out.